Hello and welcome to the review of the EBAC 2650E dehumidifier. I'm going to zoom out for you first of all and I'm going to show you against the couch for size. There you go. So it comes up to about my knee height and I'm 5 foot 5 so you know exactly what kind of an impact this will have in any room that you choose to, to pop it in. Now we're going to take a look at the dial. How do I get this flash off now? Uh, there you go, that's better. Okay, so as you can see from here, it says auto. If you listen very quietly, this is no louder than a fridge. That's exactly what it sounds like, just a typical fridge. If you press this button here, what this will do is this will give you the opportunity to have it on a setting called normal. You can feel that fan, you can feel the air coming out of here now. Obviously slightly louder, but not enough to disturb any particular room. If you press that button again for the third time, you'll see the orange fan uh, turning around there on the dial. And what that tells you is that it's in a continuous fan mode, quiet or continuous fan mode, normal. If you want to put the item in standby, press it again and you'll find the orange button there on the dial, which signifies that uh, to turn it back on. Okay, so a little bit about the features. Down here, you can see the handle for your water tank. All you need to do is pull it out. It's here that you unscrew the lid and you tip the water down your sink and it's not dissimilar in size or shape to a petrol can. Uh, so you know what you're dealing with when you're pouring it out. There's no fiddly jugs or anything like that. It's a nice, simple uh, can that you can pour out. Uh, if we take a look at the different modes that you can have now, press the mode button in the middle here and that will put it onto Econ. Now what Econ does, basically without Econ you can use the intelligent system and it keeps it running all day, every day, maximising its, its potential at a time when it is needed most. So let's say for example you're drying your clothes on the radiator. Um, obviously there's going to be a lot more condensation in the room so it will work harder as and when it needs to. If you pop it on Econ, what that will do is ensure that it doesn't overdo its work. You've got your, your, your humidity uh, under control now in your house and it will just make sure that it's not using your electricity for the solid time that it's on. Press it again. There you go. You can see there now you've got the word max. I don't even know if you can see that actually, but yeah, that orange line there says max with two orange drips. And now what this does is it tells you that it is working to its full potential right now. If you move it down, it goes down one, and again, it goes down to your standard. Just pop it on max if you want, and it's just a continual fan. It's not an automatic, so it will stay like this. Uh, and you can see that it's not on the econ mode as well at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is turn it back on, just to auto, nice and quiet. What this does for you is uh, it will run intelligently. It's not just a standard dehumidifier where you turn it on and turn it off as and when you need it. It will tell you, sorry, it won't tell me anything. <laughs> what it will do is it will perform to the standard that it's required to. Now for me in the winter this is particularly good because I don't have a tumble dryer. I do dry my clothes on the radiators and I do not want condensation. So this is absolutely perfect for my particular um, circumstance at the moment. I just wanna show you a little bit of what this looks like. As I say, you've got the handle there, nice easy flap to pull out for your water tank. And if you do want to move it around, you've got a handle here. Now, I'm not saying that it's very light, but it's certainly not particularly heavy when you are standing up. <coughs> Excuse me. When you are standing up and you do want to move that around to where you need to move it to. I've also made a point here of making sure that the dehumidifier is on the laminate flooring, just to give you a true idea of how loud or quiet that this sounds. If you have this on a rug or on a carpet, 
it will definitely sound quieter there's no vibrations coming away from it or anything like that so i hope that that helps you make your decision and whether or not you're going to buy it uh, just turning it back around again and i can show you here the filter now you can remove this and you can clean this filter um, whenever you need to do that um, you will have basically every couple of every month uh, you will need to take that out, give it a good clean using a vacuum cleaner um, and then you can just pop it back in where it goes. Obviously, there's the button down there to make sure that you're able to get that out okay. Um, every couple of months, this should be replaced as is standard with any dehumidifier. You don't want to have a filter that's all covered in yak because then your house is going to get covered in yak, not what you want. Uh, and this round here, this feature, if you like, is very simple. When you're finished using your dehumidifier, you can simply wrap around your power cable and it can tidy away uh, without being, you know, messy or anything like that. For me personally, this is the perfect ideal um, addition to my circumstance at home, particularly not having a tumble dryer, as I say. And I really quite like the sound of it, as I say. It's not dissimilar to a fridge or a fridge freezer. It's quite pleasant you know the sound of the the hum if you like it's it's nice it's not going to affect you watching the tv it's not going to affect you having a conversation with somebody and it's certainly not going to affect you having a telephone conversation or you know if you want to concentrate it's not going to give you a headache at all uh, so anyway this is the eback 2650e and yeah i'm really happy